Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nicole and I make bookish content. Today I'm going to be filming a very fun vlog that's going to take place over the course of a week or maybe more depending on how long it takes me to read because I'm not the fastest reader. I basically did a book swap with Christine from the Roomies Digest recently which was super exciting and fun because now I have four books that I'm going to be reading and telling you guys my thoughts. So we did a book swap based on books that we no longer wanted or needed. So so it'll be really interesting to see if I end up liking the books more than she did or if I end up liking them less. Really quick, I want to go over the four books that I'm going to be reading for this vlog. The first one is The Scent Keeper by Erica Bauermeister and this was actually on Reese's Book Club pick for either 2019 or 2020, I don't remember. The next book I'm going to be reading is The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss and this is just kind of a wintry holiday themed romance. I really wanted to read this in December but I didn't get around to it nor did I I have it. So this is going to be a very fun, romantic, lighthearted read I'm thinking. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum and I believe this is another contemporary romance which will be really fun because I really want to get more into romance books. And finally the last book that I was sent by her is Paper Magician by Charlie N. Holmberg and this is what it looks like. But I'm super excited to be talking about these books with you guys and I honestly haven't filmed a vlog in a really long time so it will feel good to kind of, you know, let you guys see the more natural side of me. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. I am starting off today, so it's day one. I'm going to be reading Tell Me Three Things by Julie Boxbaum. Should be fun. We'll see if I get invested. So right now I'm actually going to go onto my hammock and just kind of like read and chill for a little bit. Like the weather's feeling pretty nice outside today. I'm gonna appreciate the cool crisp mornings before it gets to like a hundred degree weather. So yeah. Hi guys. So I just wanted to do a update. It's been a couple days and I have decided that I'm going to read just kind of on my own time this month and I'm not going to give myself a time limit just because I've been really busy guys and I just don't have time to read four full books in a week. So I'm just going to read it as fast as possible but I do have to say I was working for the past couple of days so I couldn't really film any vlogs but I finished Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum and I loved it, okay? I gave it five stars and it's so cute, so relatable, and I think especially if I read this during high school, I would have made this one of the books that I reread at the dinner table eating my ramen. This book is about a girl whose mother passes away and her dad remarries super early and whisks her away from Chicago to LA to a preppy elite school and she gets random messages from this person who's basically saying, yeah, you know, I'm going to tell you all the secrets of the high school and be kind of your friend. Feelings develop and there's drama and all that fun juicy stuff that we love to see in chick flick movies. This book just reminded me kind of like a Cinderella story in the best way possible and I don't know I just had myself rooting for the protagonist and there were definitely times where I was like you are being so angsty right now but I totally understood where she was coming from and I just loved her and I loved the love interest and I love all the different triangles. Yeah, it was just a really fun time. This book definitely makes me want to go out and read more romance books because it gave me butterflies and really made me feel a lot of emotions. The light-hearted, wholesome, giggly butterfly feelings. I would definitely recommend this book if you guys like romance contemporary books because it's a really fun one. Hi guys, so it's been a couple of weeks since I actually filmed my first review. I basically have procrastinated because I I've been just in a really bad reading slump. So far I've decided to start The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss and this is a romance book that takes place during the winter time where this woman feels like she's not really finding any worthy men to date in her town because it's really small. So she signs up for this program where you pay money and you have 12 dates in 12 different locations with 12 different guys. She 
is excited to go on these dates and one by one they just keep getting worse and worse but maybe love was right around the corner all along i am only 10 pages in i'm i'm gonna try my best to finish it today but it's actually pretty hefty we're gonna see as of now i would not say that i'm like super invested in the storyline but i'm like following along lightly skimming we're gonna see how it goes and yeah i also still have these two books to read so when am i gonna get these read who knows send help that'll be it though and i'll see you guys soon Hi everyone! I have spent a lot of time reading The 12 Dates of Christmas. I'm about 226 pages in, so at this point I feel like I would have a pretty good idea about what I think about this book. And so I have about 100 pages left, and I'm going to try and power through this and finish this book today. So far, this is really hard for me to get into. I really have been trying, and it's definitely not a bad book, but it just lacks that factor that really draws me in. I feel completely detached from the characters. I have just enough interest to keep going. I'm really trying to finish it, but it's very slow paced for me and I find myself skimming over the sentences. I also have kind of a problem with how slutty things are seen um, in the book and I feel like there's like mild shaming a little bit, which I don't really approve of. I also, I know who the main love interest is going to be and I like him, but I also feel like he kind of takes advantage of Kate. If you have read this, let me know what you think. But unfortunately, it's very, very dull for me, and I don't think I'll be reading another book by her. Those are my thoughts. I now have some yummy Italian pasta, and I'm going to eat brunch and read as much as possible. I'll hopefully update you guys and give you my thoughts in a bit. Hi guys, so it's been a long day and I just finished reading The 12 Dates of Christmas. Overall, I gave it a 3 star. Initially, about halfway through, I was definitely feeling a 2.5 star, but I really did like how the book wrapped up. I found it to be very boring at times, to be quite honest, and I don't know if that's because I don't usually read romance novels, but I just wasn't very convinced. And it just didn't feel realistic to me that there are so many men who were not date-worthy. It just didn't seem realistic realistic to me. It maybe just like wasn't for me. I don't really think I would ever read it again, but I'm glad that I did. I wanted to update that I decided to get a head start, and so I'm actually starting to read The Scent Keeper by Erica Bauermeister. This is about a girl who grows up on a remote island with her dad, and she's told certain truths about the world, and his life is revolved around these little jars that have pieces of paper, but he doesn't really care to divulge what's in them, and this is just kind of like a coming of age story. I'm about 60 pages in and I wasn't sure how much I was going to like it but I can tell when a book is good for me when it moves me and makes me emotional and I already have gotten teary-eyed. I'm only 60 pages in and I would say that I'm a little bit frustrated with the protagonist at times but she's not completely unlikable and I think that what she's going through and experiencing is completely valid. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I'm probably going to spend at least another hour reading and trying to get some progress done but I'm honestly really impressed. Very intriguing. I was pretty much hooked to like 10 pages in so I will definitely be trying to finish this as soon as possible and I'll let you guys know my thoughts later on but so far I would honestly even say that it is a five star read but I'm not even like a third of the way through yet so we'll see. I'm gonna start reading and then I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi friends so I just wanted to update it's the next day and I had a pretty fun day so far. I got to hang out with some of my friends and we did some board gaming but I did get some reading done with the scent keeper and I would honestly say that right now it's getting a little bit slower paced for me but I'm still really really enjoying it and I think it's definitely going to be a four to five star for me just because it really did broaden my horizons and how I think and process smell and how much of an influence smell really has in the world. I just really am invested in the character's storyline and I really genuinely like the protagonist and she's like fairly naive to the world and I just am rooting for her happiness honestly and I definitely plan on finishing this book today because I you can see I'm almost done with it and I'm hoping that I'm going to like the ending of it. Honestly guys like I really wasn't 
wasn't expecting to fall in love with this book as much as I did, but I really know when I like a book, when I want to literally shout it to the world and make sure that all my friends and family members read it. I'm planning on keeping you guys posted. I'm actually going to be cooking my boyfriend's parents' dinner tonight, and I'm making them a salmon dish with red pepper aioli as well as a lemon orzo. Probably going to have some reading time with my boyfriend because he's currently on King of Scars. I'm so behind in the Grishaverse, but I just have too many books to read at this point. So I'll probably keep you guys posted in a couple hours and let you guys know what I think. But as of now, this is a book that I definitely plan on keeping in my collection. And I think it's a book that's going to stick with me for a long time. world so it's a brand new day and I've gotten a lot of reading done and I'm really excited to tell you guys all about my thoughts so first of all I finished the Sunkeeper yesterday so I read it in two days and you guys can tell by all my stickies I was definitely feeling a whirlwind of emotions overall I really wanted to give this a five star but the ending just was a little bit lackluster and not as satisfying as I wanted I just didn't agree with villainizing certain characters that were in the book just because they had a different way of thinking a different lifestyle, different passions. I don't think that that makes that person a horrible person and of course that person is not perfect, definitely far from perfect, but I just didn't like the resolution at the end and I didn't like where things left off. I also just wanted to say that this book was super good and I was pretty much hooked from the start because it's so unique of a concept and really gave me where the crawdads sing kind of vibes. So if you guys like that, I would definitely recommend checking this out because it was definitely very refreshing to read about. And if anything, I feel like now now I have more respect for the power that aroma and fragrance and scents really have in your life. So next up, I started The Paper Magician by Charlie and Holmberg today, and I'm already almost done with it, and I think it's because when books are just naturally shorter, I just feel so much more motivated to finish it because I'm like, okay, there's like 200 pages. I'm going to read half of it today and half of it tomorrow, and then the chapter, of course, doesn't go exactly to page 100, it goes to page like 115. And then I'm like, okay, well, it's another chapter, and another chapter, and another chapter. And so now I am on page 158 out of like 210. So I'm really close to finishing it, and I think I'm just gonna power through it and try to get it done today. I wanna say this is looking to be a three star for me. So this is essentially about this girl named Sione Twill who arrives at the cottage of magician Emery Thane with a broken heart. She graduated top of her class in the magician school. She wanted to go into metal, but she's assigned to join the folders, which are basically paper manipulators and she's like well you can't do anything cool with that and so she's basically not even interested but she is forced to do that because that's the only spot that's open for her. She discovers that it's really not as bad as it seems. One day when her teacher randomly gets attacked by the excisioner which is a practitioner of a dark flesh magic and this excisioner rips Thane's heart from his chest and she has to go on a quest to save him. First of all, this book is really not going the direction that I thought it was going to be. It's a lot more psychological than I thought. There is a lot of fantasy though involved. It's kind of hard to explain, but honestly, I think one of the main reasons why I don't really like the book is because I think that the main character is kind of unlikable for the first like, 100 pages. I just feel like she doesn't really give her teacher like a chance, or treats him with any basic human decency. She's just, like super just judgmental towards him and nosy and feels entitled to knowing everything about his life and she's super snotty when it comes to learning about paper and she hates being wrong and I just I don't vibe like that so I just really uh, had a hard time rooting for her. I like certain elements of it but I just don't feel super invested. I don't feel like there's anything special about the writing. It feels very very basic to me and I think that's part of what separates me from getting really into a book. It does drag a little bit at times, but I do appreciate the concept. I think the concept, the story is super unique, super different, something that I really haven't read anything about before. I think this will be a solid three star just because it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. I will probably be finishing this today. I will be genuinely surprised if I end up changing my rating because I have 50 pages left and unless the ending is like, so amazing, it takes my breath away. I don't think that's gonna change anytime soon. I guess we'll see.
Hello friends! So I've officially finished The Paper Magician by Charlie and Holmberg and overall I ended up giving it a three stars. This is just a very fantastical quick book that I didn't realize was going to be actually a book series so I thought initially it was a standalone and it's not. I've been trying to get better and more honest about my ratings, honest with myself not with you guys. So this book I rated three stars because it was enjoyable at times but it did drag a bit and the language wasn't very compelling and didn't really get me invested in the story. I enjoyed the fantastical elements of it overall but it just kind of was a little forgettable and I don't think I will be continuing the series but I did think it was really interesting. Definitely a trip. I don't really have anything else to say about it. There really was nothing wrong with this book. It just wasn't for me. So thank you guys so much for watching this very chaotic sporadic vlog. I've been trying to do this for the past two months but I read very slowly and so it took me a lot of time to get my thoughts together. I had the most wonderful time doing this with Christine from Rumi's Digest so if you guys aren't already subscribed to her channel she also published a video where she read books that I didn't really like and yeah so she reviewed those. So definitely go check out her channel and subscribe. She and Mo have the most awesome channel ever and they're always posting really creative and fun videos and vlogs. Overall I think that this experience experiment was very interesting and I read four total books and I'm going to just quickly go over my ratings one more time because as I've let the books kind of sit for a while my ratings have definitely changed. So the first book that I read was Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. This I'm maintaining as a five. It's honestly a very cute romance book and if you liked a Cinderella story I would highly recommend checking this out. This was definitely one of the hidden gems of the pile. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did and I don't read a lot of romance normally so this is something that definitely made me more interested in checking it out in the future. The next book that I read was The 12 Dates of Christmas by Jenny Bayliss. Unfortunately even though I initially gave this a three star I think I was just being a bit nice because I was really struggling for about half of the book to get through it and although I liked the concept of all the dates I just wasn't like a huge fan of like the main romance and I didn't like the view of women going on multiple dates and how that was kind of portrayed in a small town so I will change my rating to a 2.5 because because I still was satisfied with the ending somewhat but it just was not my favorite romance by any means and I will definitely be selling this. The third book that I read was The Sun Keeper by Erica Bauermeister and this was also a complete hidden gem. I was obsessed with this book from the start. I loved everything about it. I felt so into the world, so invested with all the characters. I would give this book a four star rating because I really really liked it but I wish the ending was a little bit different. Finally the last book that I read is The Paper Magician by Charlie and Holmberg and like I said this book was just very average for me, not memorable and definitely did not get me invested at all in the storyline or characters. So solid three star for me. Nothing wrong with the writing, nothing wrong with the book but it just wasn't for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys are here still I would love to know if you guys have read any the books that I read or talked about and if so tell me what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, or follow my Instagram or book talk account. It would honestly mean the world to me and I am posting more consistently on both of those platforms. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!